Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to disable developer tools in Microsoft Edge using registry or group policy in Windows 10. Um, what exactly is developer tools? This is a feature in um, uh, browsers that uh, most times developers make use of to troubleshoot or to resolve or fix a bug in code. Let me just open the, the developer to project an example. Uh, you go to the setting. You see the developer to here. More tools, developer tools. This is on Microsoft Edge. So once you launch it, you will see it open here. So with this, you can check for HTML tags, you can check for JavaScript, you can check for CSS, so you can check for performance, memory, and so many other things. So it's very good for, for troubleshooting, for checking your code, the box in it, and you can equally use it to, to fix. So this is a very good tool. That um, developers make use of for quality assurance that software testers also make use of this. Then um, there are some times you may just want to disable it. So, how can we do that? So, let me close this. Um, let us launch our reg registry. Let's use that first. So once that is uh, launched, let me, this is, um, I'm, I'm going to show you, okay, this is where you navigate to, I think it's already opened on my system, so this is where well, I'm navigating to policies, Microsoft, so it's already open here, so um, you need to create this folder here, this edge, inside Microsoft folder. So you create it. Once that is created, then you need to create a key. You need to create a key. Or rather, sorry, you create uh, a keyword uh, 30, 32 bit value. So I, re I already created that. This is it. Developer tools uh, availability. So you create that and you give it its name. Then currently the value data is zero, so which means uh, the developer tool can still open. So once I set this to two and I click on OK, the developer tool will be disabled now. So I'm going to close the Microsoft Edge now. Let me reopen it. I'm reopening it. So let's go back to yes, it's good that now. It's no more enabled. So that is one way to do that. So if you want to return it, um, it's just deleting it. So let me delete it first. You can open it, you can set this back to zero, or you delete it, just click OK. So let's launch the Microsoft page again. Let's see whether it is enabled now. It was disabled before. So let's see whether it's enabled now. It's still not yet enabled. So let me. So let's. Let's try and delete it. Okay. So it's deleted now. So let's see. Can you see? It's back to enable. So let's launch it. So it's back now. So another way we can disable it uh, is through the local group policy. 
so let me just so this is the local group policy just launch it so once that is launched inside this administrative uh, template you might need uh, to add a template to it and um, how can you do that you need to download that first you go into this uh, into microsoft.com this link this is the link here so through that link through this uh, page i mean you can download the template you want for your microsoft page select the channel you can pick the table one the latest i mean uh, also the select this you can pick the topmost one then you select your platform so mine is a uh, for bit then you download the policy already did that this is it down here this is the policy so once that is downloaded you you also uh, another thing is that once you download it you need to extract it that means you extract it this is the main folder so you extract it and you see all these uh, subfolders. So once that is done, then um, you go back. Then you add templates. I already had this, so it's just for you to locate where you downloaded uh, the folder or where you extracted the folder. So this is the folder extracted from the template. So I click it, um, I'm using Windows, so you select it again, then EN means English US, so just select that, and that is your, your template to be added. So just um, click on this, and you will see the classic administrative template, that will be the new template added. So just click on the arrow, then you see Microsoft Tech here, so you can also click once that is clicked, um, you can check by the right here anyway. So on this right here, you will see control. Let's scroll down. Aha, this is it. So control where developer tools can be used. So this is what we need. So I'll just, all what you just need to do is uh, just click. Click on it. It's currently enabled. Um, it's allowing using developer to so just click this and select don't allow using developer to. Once you made, made that selection, apply and click OK. So once that is done, let's relaunch this now. Let's relaunch it now. It's okay. Let's see what that. Can you see it? it's been disabled now? So those are the two ways you can um, disable the developer tools, both on um, the registry and also on the local group policy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.